Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at converting a movie file into a stop motion video file. The idea here is to remove frames from the video so that instead of having something that runs smoothly, it's very staccato. And the more frames we remove, then the more staccato the image is going to be or the video is going to be. So I'm going to start here in my own video editing software. Now you can use any video editing software and you don't actually even need to edit your video. But my video has got a couple of issues. One of them is that it's got sound in it and it doesn't need to have sound because we're going to be removing frames. So that just would ruin the sound anyway. So I'm going to right click and split my tracks and I'm going to remove my sound. I'm also a little bit concerned because this is a train here coming towards us and it moves really slowly because it's so far away. Now it's already got a staccato feel about it but that's because I'm scrubbing across this timeline really quickly. It is actually a one minute video. So once the train starts to get close to us of course it speeds up, visually speeds up. But when it's a long distance away it's actually really quite slow getting from sort of minuscule through to this size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split my video at this point and I'm going to speed it up. I'm using Camtasia. You can use software of your choice and as I said you don't actually have to edit your video. I just think I'm going to get a better result if I do. So let's have a look and see. Here's my train getting bigger and I'm obviously not holding this camera very still. That's fine. I'm going to get a really nice effect here and then this is just regular speed as it comes through. And if I want to stop it I can do so. I think I might let it just go through to the end here. So I'm going to render this video out. So let's just go and render it as a small video image. Doesn't need to be very big. And we'll just wait as this renders. When we've finished rendering it, what we're going to do is take it to the internet. So let me just open my browser and let's go and see where we're going to. We're going to a site called Capwing. It's K-A-P-W-I-N-G.com. Now at Capwing, you'll sign up. So you can sign up here. I'm just using the free plan. So you can just use the free plan as well. You can do this without having to pay any money. So once you come to Capwing, what you're going to do is go to view all tools. And I'm going down here to stop motion maker. So I'll click on that to launch the stop motion maker. So what this is going to do is to allow us to remove from frames from the movie. Now there is a way that you can do this using the posterize effect if you're using After Effects. And so if you were doing your editing in After Effects, you can actually do it inside After Effects. But After Effects is pretty expensive and it's also a pretty big piece of software. So if you want to do it very simply, then you can do it using the stop motion maker. So once your video has rendered, I can see that mine has rendered. I'm going to click here on upload and let's go and get the train moving video file that I just created. And so my stop motion video is going to be 16.17 seconds long if I use this option and it is actually uploading. So these are the options that I have set for it right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clip my frames more frequently. So at the moment, we're taking a frame from every 0.6 seconds of the original video. So virtually every half second, we're just taking a single frame out. Now you can take out more. So you can shorten your video to, in this case, 6.47 seconds long, but it's taking out more frames. So we're only picking out a frame from every 1.5 seconds, which means that we're dropping all the frames in between that. So you can either drop just a few frames or drop a heap of frames. This is a really clever little tool for doing just this. We're going to have to, of course, wait until our video is completely uploaded. So I'm going to do that. So the video has now uploaded and we're seeing the whole of it play in this little viewfinder here. So this is removing the frame so that we've just got one for every one and a half seconds in the video. So you can experiment with different looks to your stop motion video. Choose whichever one that you want to use. 
You can also slow it down a little bit so it's going to be rendered more slowly. And you could of course also do it faster. I'm thinking that I'm probably going to use the slow speed but pull out a whole heap of frames so that I get this really staccato movement. If you want to trim your video, you can do so. So for example, I might bring in the end of the video and just bring it up to where the train is actually arriving. So I'm thinking that I might stop it about there so you can have a look and see what it's going to look like and work out where you want to stop your movie. I'm going to do that, so I'll just click Done. My stop motion video is now trimmed and ready to go, so I'll click Create. The content that I'm downloading is going to be watermark free. So we're just going to wait until it has been rendered and it's ready to download. One of the things you will need to be aware of with Capwing is that there is a limit to the size of the video that you can upload, depending on whether you're using the free plan or the upgraded paid plan. But provided you've got a tool for perhaps pre-editing your video before you take it up to Capwing, then you should be able to keep within the program's limits. So you could, for example, use iMovie on your iPhone to do your editing or whatever editing software you happen to be using. I'm going to pause this until the video is ready for download. So the video is now ready for download. That last screen has just switched to this screen. So I'm just going to click here on download. Now my video is public because I haven't paid to upgrade my account, but that's fine for me. I'm just going to click download. And the file will be downloaded to my computer where I can play it. So let's just open it in my player. So we now have a stop motion video created from a video file using the free Capwing stop motion video creator. I hope you've enjoyed the video and that you're able to use this application for converting your own movie files into stop motion videos. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.